Hello, business nerds. I'm going to highlight some news that I found that is important for private practice therapists and sometimes for therapists moving into coaching. Also, here's a little bit about me. So today I'm going to talk about Medicare taxes and change healthcare, which I think are on therapists' minds lately. In tax news, I wanted to highlight a great resource that offers free and paid for support. Simple Profit by Jenny Schott Miller, CPA, LMFT, created Simple Guide to help us understand various business topics. I signed up and it, it's free. I'm not an affiliate with her. I just wanted to share this with you. She also provides a paid for membership to help with many aspects of business, including understanding taxes. And she also has a really neat Facebook group that has a lot of free resources as well. So as we all likely heard, LPCs, LMHCs, or state equivalent, and LMFTs became eligible to accept Medicare this year. Did you choose to credential with them or did you choose to opt out? I've learned that if we want to accept private pay from Medicare beneficiaries, we need to opt out officially. If we are eligible to accept Medicare, even if we're not credentialed with them, we need to opt out. I believe each state has their own site for this and we will need to fill out a form I also heard that we need to write out our license type and put a physical address on the form, and that's at least for Florida. For Florida, the local Medicare group is First Coast Service Options Incorporated. If you're licensed in Florida, the information to opt out of Medicare is listed on there, and I believe the options to credential are also listed there. So here is the First Coast Service Options site, and it talks about the process of opting out in Florida. According to Barbara Griswold in her article, Medicare Clients, Can You See Them If You Aren't a Medicare Provider, which she updated in February of this year, 2024, she talks about that we need to also ask the client to sign a private contract opting out of Medicare. She stated that examples might be found on the local Medicare administrative contractor sites or AKA MACs. And here is where you can look up the opt out tools from the Medicare sites and I'll put the links at the end. If you are interested in credentialing with Medicare, Gabrielle Giuliano Villani, who was on my podcast on episode three, offers some great tips in her Facebook group, and she can also help with this with coaching. The link for her website and Facebook group are in the show notes. Also, Barbara Griswold in her article, talked about some of the difficulties with receiving accurate payments with Medicare with using Place of Service 10. So check out her article if you're interested in learning more. And again, that's in the show notes, the link for that. You've probably also heard about Change Healthcare, which is a United Healthcare Group company, and the cyber attack, which impacted submitting claims for therapists and impacted many other systems as well from what I hear. Peter Arntz, 2024 with Malwarebytes, talked about that this was reportedly caused by ransomware. And in the article, he also provided some ideas on how to prevent further attacks. I hear that clinicians are having to fax or print claims. Also, Availity has offered some help with connectivity as well, and that link is listed below. In other news, I wrote a blog this week titled, We Are the Driving Force of Change in Our Businesses, and I talked about working within our energy levels, setting our hours, setting business boundaries, and that sort of thing. I also interviewed Elizabeth Walker, and she has some great tips on sales for therapists and coaches. She also works with other business owners. She also offers free advertisements and loves hearing our business stories. Check out the video in the link below. 
For business tips, what is an evergreen webinar? According to ConvertKit, in their article about the eight steps to build an evergreen webinar, they described it as a video that is pre-recorded that a subscriber can watch whenever they want versus waiting for a certain time, like say for a live video. For me, I record and edit my videos. So within system.io, I was able to build my first course. Uh, it's basically coaching in a course for people who are therapists and wanting to start their private practices. So there are 16 steps that I go over in detail. There are four modules and I also record a video with each module and explain all the different parts of the steps of building the private practice. And I also included workbooks for each module. So you can find that in several places at attainablevision.biz or under attainablevision.courses. Here are some of the references and links. More of the links will be listed in the show notes. And also, I wanted to thank you for listening. If you want to reach out to us, our website is attainablevision.biz for therapists, attainablevision.net for coaches. I also have several Facebook groups, and those are listed here. And thank you for listening, and take care. Yeah.